D. A hot air balloon is between two spotters who are 1.2 miles apart. One spotter reports that the angle of elevation of the balloon is 76 degrees, and the other reports that it is 68 degrees. What is the altitude of the balloon to the nearest tenth of a mile? Okay, a hot air balloon is between two spotters who are 1.2 miles apart. So, let's see. We have a hot air balloon. And we have a person here and a person over here keeping an eye on it. And between the two people is 1.2 miles. And we want to find the altitude of the balloon, so I'm going to put an X there. And this spotter sees the uh, balloon at a 76 angle of elevation. And this one sees it at a 68 degree angle of elevation. What is the altitude? Okay, so, um, I don't remember for sure how to do this, so I'm just going to wing it as though I was having this to do this problem. So we'll see how my winging it turns out. Um, this whole thing is 1.2 miles, so I'm going to call this piece right here Y. And I'm going to call this piece right here 1.2 minus y, because together those two sides add up to 1.2. Does that sound reasonable? OK. And then I have two different right triangles. Um, in each triangle, I'm going to use tangent. So it would be tangent of 76 equals x over y, and tangent of 68 equals x over 1.2 minus y. Okay, now I think we should be able to solve this equation for y and plug it into that equation. And that gets rid of y so that we can solve the whole thing, I think. Okay, so I'm going to cross multiply and then divide so I end up with y equals x over tangent 76. Did I lose anyone there? They just kind of trade places. Because you cross multiply it and then you divide it, right? Okay, so then I'm going to take this y and replace it with that. So substitute that into there. So that gives us tangent 68 equals x over 1.2 minus x over tangent 76. I don't know if I've made this problem harder than it should be, but this is kind of an ugly problem. We'll just keep going. Okay. Um, so I guess I want to get a common denominator here probably. So 1.2 tangent 76 over tangent 76. Do you think? And, and then, am I losing you? Okay, so I'm going to take this piece here, and I'm going to change. I obviously have a fraction in the bottom, so I'm going to need to copy dot flip, so I'm going to turn the top into a fraction also. So let's turn the top into x over 1, and then the denominator, I'm going to get a common denominator. So I have 1.2 times the tangent of 76 over the tangent of 76 minus x over the tangent of 76. So that's to get a common denominator right there. And then I can combine those together, correct? So it'll have 1.2 tangent 76 minus x, right? OK, so now I can copy dot flip. So I will have x over 1 times, and then this fraction I combine together and flip it. So that will be times tangent of 76 over 1.2 tangent 76 minus x.
Now, of course, that whole thing is still equal to the tangent of 68. Okay. Hmm. So now we're trying to get x by itself. So I'm guessing at this point we just need to cross multiply. So I'm going to put that side over 1. And since this is just multiplying, that's basically the numerator, x times tangent 76, and here's the denominator, right? Because 1 times that. So then if I'm cross multiplying, it's this denominator times the tangent of 68. So I'll have 1.2 times the tangent of 76 times the tangent of 68. And that's that times that piece, but then we have to distribute. So then we would also have minus x times the tangent of 68. And then on this side, we would end up with x tangent 76. Okay, now I want the x's on the same side of the problem. So I'm going to move that over there. Ugh, good thing I'm recording this. Okay. So then I would have 1.2 times the tangent of 76 times the tangent of 68 equals x tangent 68 plus x tangent 76, which gives us x times the tangent of 68 plus the tangent of 76, because I can factor that x out of there, yes? Which means I now have sort of an answer I can plug into a calculator. So I'm going to divide, to get the x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by this thing. So I get 1.2 tangent 76, tangent 68, divided by tangent 68 plus tangent 76. Okay, calculator time. Okay, so 1.2 times tangent 76. I better make sure my mode is right, huh? Oh, it is. Okay, good. Times tangent 68. So there's the numerator. And then I'm going to divide that by tangent 68 plus tangent 76. So 1.84 miles. And you guys don't have even answers in your book, so I better look that up. Look at that, 1.8 miles, so proud of myself. <laughs>